Hey everybody, welcome to Best Family Homestead, it's Aaron. So we're coming to you from the Best Family Homestead shop and I have this hand truck. I buy most of my food from Cooper General Store in Waverly Hall. Great place. Uh, I get most of my animal feed there. You can see they have this little hand truck here. I was getting just kind of fed up with dealing with it because uh, I get so much food there. But you can see it's made to go down, pick up, you know, animal feed. And it's just old. Been there a long time. You see they have this strap here. I got to looking real close. If you look down right here, uh, there's these two little springs. There's supposed to be a metal bar that goes across here, I'm pretty sure. Um, the strap they have just coming loose. So I told them... Uh, since they were closed today, I told them I would bring it home, see about getting this thing fixed up for them. You know, I'm a welder, take me a couple minutes, show you guys how to do a little bit of welding repair work, and uh, yeah, it's one of those things I do. I like, I like a challenge. So, we are going to get this thing fixed for them. We're going to go with, uh, let's see, we're going to start with five and a half inches all right guys so you can see i got my welding helmet don't worry I got our five and a half inch piece here i'm gonna come over here Let's see how this is gonna look yeah it's gonna work right all right so this gives you a little bit better angle of what we're looking at so this piece needs to have some tension on it I cut my piece at five and a half inches and what needs to happen now is it needs to go under both sides of this this strap right here or both sides of these springs there we go You can see how these ramps are up at an angle. You can see the shadow, right? So that makes it easy to move around. Well, now if you need to get under something, you can see a little foot peg right there. Now I pull, push down on this just a little bit. Bam, they fall down. I slide up underneath whatever I need to pull up. And then all I do is pick it back up and they come back up. So it's all working again. So my bar here, my replacement bar on those springs is working just right. So now we got to clean this thing up and get that little bar welded up. But no matter how good your welder is your prep work is 95% of your welding you can't weld over rust you can't weld over paint so one of the most important things that you have to do when welding anything you gotta take stuff back down to the bare metal so there we go called tack welds. I'm gonna turn my wire feed welder on. I'm just gonna put like a tack here, 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 and here, just to hold this bar to hold that spring. I run an 035 wire, so now I'm good. Now my welding thickness, that, that wire's kind of thick, uh, or that steel I'm welding. We're just gonna set it on 12 gauge, and then we'll go from there. My argon and my gas here. Got to turn my bottle on. So I've got my regulator set up. I've got my gas on. Now this is one of those other really important parts of welding. This is my ground lead. I have to have a good ground. They both have to come. All right, hook my ground up. Got my welding helmet on. 
So now let's just uh, put a couple tacks on here so we can test this thing out and make sure it's going to work like I hope. Test. So this is uh, the pallet I need to get under here. And in my case, I got a whole bunch of dog food. I got a whole bunch of rabbit food, chicken food. All right. You can see I've got my little foot peg here. Hopefully what happens is, push on my foot peg. It falls down. I slide up under my pallet of food, right? Then I pick up. I heard it click. Bam. Comes up. Now I can move it around. I want it to rust out. I want this thing to last another 25 years like it already did. So let's make that happen. That's about it, folks. Tomorrow we'll go deliver it at 9 o'clock when they open. I think they're going to be pretty happy with it. Kind of what it's all about, helping the community. Just uh, something I saw needed to be done. I'm like, hey, I'll take care of it. I've been working on this thing for, I don't know, 14, 15 minutes now. Make their life easier. Something I can do to help the community out. So, uh, what it's all about pass it on all right guys well until tomorrow when we deliver this thing so there's one thing i did forget I'll tell you all before i sign off obviously i'm not going to give them something that's just bare metal it's going to rust so i got some rust-oleum here now they are a local hardware store so they have lots of the colors that they want to put a different color on here but Once again, so we deliver tomorrow. Uh, Y'all have a good night. All right, everybody, here we are at Cooper's. I'm gonna take them their hand truck back. What's up, man? What you doing with my track? Hey, back. Brought it back. You and Robert ain't up something to do. Oh, look at that. Goes down, goes up, man. You the bomb, brother. I like that. That baby, baby won't go nowhere. That's perfect. Get a big 50% discount and go to the house. This is Lloyd, and this is Cooper's on YouTube right now. It's a great place to come. Uh, this is probably like my home away from home, just honestly. I'm here as much as I am at the house. <laughs> Uh, you ever in Waverly Hall? Make sure to stop in here. Yeah, I, I, I knew you might need the strap. You did, yeah, you, uh, you could have kept that for doing it. <laughs> That's awesome, buddy. Thank All right, guys, hope you like this video. Make sure and like, subscribe, and share. And like I said before, if you're ever in Waverly Hall, Georgia, make sure and come check out Cooper General Store.